So I have this table. We've had it in the uh, for I don't know, like ten years. It fits this, this this space in our kitchen really well. We like it, except you can see the finish on it is pretty terrible right now. Um, it's got all kinds of haze and, and schmutz and stuff, and the years and two kids have have really done a number on it. So today I'm gonna try and see if I can sand this, this finish off and. Um, Put something nicer on it, something that matches our kitchen a little better, and uh, something that doesn't look like it has giant ghost marks from meals from the past. Um, never done this before, and we'll see how this turns out. Um, I'm sure I'm going to make lots of mistakes, but hopefully uh, I'll learn something, you'll learn something, and uh, we'll end up with a new finished table. I have to admit it was pretty terrifying actually putting that sander right on the table for the first time. But once I got into it, it really wasn't that bad. I just worked section by section. I was using 60 grit sandpaper, and I was doing my best not to go too deep into the wood uh, because I, I'm not, I wasn't really sure if, uh, if the table had a, a veneer or anything on top of it. So my goal was to just take as little of that finish off as possible. I also switched to some gloves. I wish I had some padded rubber gloves. That would have saved my hands. Uh, they kind of got a little weird and numb feeling after, uh, after doing this for a couple days. Um, so I'd encourage you to get some, some good padded gloves if you can. You can see here that I actually took it down to, um, to pre pretty close to, without actually removing all of it. I wanted to leave some of the original stain uh, because I wanted to add some sort of rustic or, or antique look to it. Um, but all those little dark spots are actually the original finish um, deep in the grain of the wood. And so I decided to go ahead and hang on to that. Um, so that way I wouldn't risk taking the, the veneer off um, and I thought it left a, a really interesting look when everything was said and done. Next I decided to start working on the skirt of the table, uh, what I'm calling the skirt of the table. It's these little, the little bit that hangs around the edge, but I really couldn't get a good angle on it and that's when I finally admit, admitted to myself that I was going to have to disassemble the table. And it's a step that I was really glad that I took. Um, if I hadn't have done this it would have taken a whole heck of a lot longer. Uh, for me to actually complete this work and it probably wouldn't have looked as good either um, It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be to take apart. I mean, it was just a, a bunch of screws um, I'd encourage you to uh, Keep little containers for the different size screws and also uh, uh, mark the pieces uh, As they come off so that way you know where they go once I had those pieces off I just sanded off the bottom a little bit because I noticed there was a little stain down there and then I started uh, sanding uh, each of those individual pieces. I only did the sides that were visible. Uh, I didn't see much need to go ahead and, and sand anything that wasn't going to be seen uh, by anyone. Next up were the table legs themselves, and they were just as straightforward as the, uh, the skirt for the table. I went ahead and did all the sides with the random orbit sander. Um, there was a beveled edge uh, on the outer corner of uh, of these legs that I went ahead and did by hand. It seemed a lot easier, um, and I, that way I wouldn't end up with any weird marks uh, from that random orbit sander. Once I was done going over everything with the random orbit sander using that 60 grit sandpaper, I actually went over everything first with a 220 grit sandpaper by hand, and then a 400 grit sandpaper by hand. Um, those two steps really made the difference on that final finish and made everything dramatically smoother. Um, so make sure you, you don't skip that. It really is an important thing. Uh, I did that to the tops, uh, the sides, uh, the bottom, and all of the, uh, the skirt and the legs. Um, it took some time, but it was well worth it. Next, I just dusted everything off with a regular shop cloth, and then went over it with a, a tack cloth. It was just a, a cloth with some, some sticky material in it to get all that dust off, because you don't want any of that in your, uh, in your finish. Um, then I put on a conditioner. And that conditioner just gets the wood ready, um, so that way the, the stain goes on a little more even and doesn't end up, uh, you're less likely to get splotches or anything like that. I wasn't entirely sure it was necessary, but this is my first time and I really wanted to make sure I did it right. Um, and I think this step helped. Finally, it was time to stain, which I was pretty excited about. Um, I went with a light gray, as you can see. Um, I wiped it off pretty quick after I put it on. Um, didn't go pretty heavy, didn't go heavy at, at all with it, and I think that worked out well. It gave us the look that we wanted. Um, I did that to the top, the sides, the bottom, uh, and then the leg, legs and the skirt as well. I let that dry, gave it a quick sand uh, with some 400 grit sandpaper, and then I put the polyurethane on. Um, this 
this went on pretty easy. It's just thick and slow and kind of forgiving. Um, as I put it on, I went ahead and uh, went with the grain and tried to go uh, in, in long sweeping strokes. So that way I, I wouldn't end up with any weird marks or, or things like that. Wasn't quite sure how to do uh, all four sides of this, so I did uh, three at a time, uh, those legs, and then turned them. Then I went back and sanded, and then I went for the second coat. Second coat was exactly like the first. I sanded, uh, hit it with a tack cloth, and then uh, painted on that second coat. Um, I ended up doing three total layers and sanding in between each one. And that actually ate up most of my time, particularly on the legs and on the skirt. It was just all of that sanding, drying, paint, uh, finishing. Sanding, drying, finishing. Once the finish was dry, uh, it was time to put everything back together. And this is when I realized that I really should have uh, paid attention to which piece came from where. I'd encourage you to mark them somehow. Um, in the end, everything went back to get together pretty well. It took me a little longer than it should have. And that's it. It was done. I think it's great. Uh, my family seems to think it looks great. Um, does it have its imperfections? Absolutely. Did I save a whole ton of money by doing this instead of my main cable? Absolutely. All said and done, I think I was into this uh, two weekends and some weeknight work here and there. Um, but I think I probably could have gotten it done if I didn't have any distractions in maybe two, three days. Um, dry time was probably the most time consuming thing. It's been pretty uh, humid and, and damp out here lately. Um, so that, I think, slowed down some of the dry time. Uh, two big recommendations I'd encourage you to, to invest in. One, a random orbit sander. Uh, you're going to want that just to speed up some of the, the uh, sandy time. And two, one of those shop vacs, even if it's one of those tiny, cheap ones like I have. Um, that will save you all kinds of time and clean up because uh, that dust is going to get everywhere. Um, and speaking of which, do go ahead and get that gas mask, or not a gas mask, a, uh, a mask for your face. Because um, none, none of that was good to breathe, and I was glad that I had that. Um, if you go ahead and take a shot at this, please uh, uh, let me know. I, I'd love to... to hear your attempts at it. And if you notice the 30,000 things I did wrong, please point them out and, and let me know what I can do better next time. Um, because this is a project that uh, with the right table, I would I would absolutely do it again. Um, I don't know that I would do it if my table was too ornate. This is a, a pretty uh, angular, you know, right angle table. Um, if it had a lot of curves and bends to it, I probably would outsource that or do something like paint the bottom rather than stain it. Um, but this went well, and I'm really glad with the results. Um, so, good luck to you.